I'm your host, Jamie Ardolis, and this is an episode of Working It. Ever wonder what the most glamorous careers are really like? We're going behind the scenes and into the real lives of high-profile career women. At a film festival, big stars bring out the people who want to get close to them, which means swarms of media and fans from around the world. If you play a game of Spot the Publicist, you'll see that they are the artist's must-have guide through the perils and opportunities of celebrity. So of course, we want to know, what's it like for a single publicist to get so close to the world's most dashing leading men? I found Hugh McGregor very charming. He was lovely. He's very friendly and very down to earth. He oozes charm. He started singing in the car because we were stuck in traffic, and to hear Hugh McGregor sing beside you in the car on the way to the airport is pretty phenomenal. Yeah, I don't get starstruck. You know, there's always one. Everybody always has sort of one. So I have to say that I was quite excited about bumping into Woody Allen. You know, if there was somebody that I could spend some time with, it would be him for sure. I don't get starstruck, and I think a good publicist usually doesn't because it is our business. You know, these actors and actresses are on the road constantly, and they're meeting a different publicist every city that they're going into. But a lot of them know the more they bond with the public, more people are going to go see their movies. Do you collect autographs? Yeah, I do. So what's in there? I've just been collecting autographs on this uh, Vanity Fair cover for a number it. of years. So I just got Tandy Newton uh, today when she just came in. I think you guys got some shots of her coming in. So Colin Farrell just came yeah. by and yeah. you missed him. How do you yeah, feel about that? Um, uh, he's, really, he's a nice guy and he always tends to sign for people. So. He's done a number of festivals and uh, he's filmed movies here, so I just have an old photo <laughs> that I have with him. Man, how's it going? How's it going? There was a guy that was with uh, Colin, he just grabbed it from me and took it around and, and Colin right away signed it and then the guy handed it back to me. All right. Every reporter in the film festival is looking outside the box to get something exclusive, not just the interview that everyone's getting. You know, that's why the paparazzi stalk all the bars and the restaurants. They're all trying to get the shot or the inside story of something big that goes down at the film festival. So when Colin Farrell jumped into the Gat Girls SUV with a homeless man, took him shopping for camping gear, and gave him rent money, the girls had the story of the festival on their hands. I found out about Colin's story because my limo driver was concerned that Colin threw a homeless person in the back of our car. So he called me right away to ask me what he should do. We called the National Post, Social Column, Shanann. The next morning it was all over the TV, radio, and newspaper. It was the story of the film festival. And Shanann had that golden ticket when we called him and gave him this exclusive. The next morning is like Christmas morning for us, for publicists, when we're opening all the papers and turning on the TVs to see what actual footage we were able to get. There is a rumor out there that female publicists are always single. Not all the men I meet are business related, but I find that I have absolutely no social life because my social life is the business events. I have no personal life, but uh, <laughs> uh, my personal life is my work. When I'm burnt out and I'm tired at the end of the day, I remind myself how lucky I am that I'm going to a dinner with Colin Farrell and Ewan McGregor that most people would die to have the opportunity to go do. So at the end of the day, I'm not done work until 2 and 3 in the morning, and then my day starts at 8 o'clock the next day. If there's any man out there, I know. On the next Working It, the media is relentless in their pursuit of top celebrities. So, to protect their clients, the Gat Girls are going to have to dig in their high heels and use some muscle. Guys, back off! 